एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेजरमेंट ऑफ नेशनल इनकम वी कैन मेजर नेशनल इनकम बाय यूजिंग थ्री मेथड्स वैल्यू एडेड मेथड इनकम मेथड एंड एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ईच मेथड फर्स्टली वी टॉक अबाउट वैल्यू एडेड मेथड सो व्हाट इज वैल्यू एडेड मेथड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मेथड वी कैन कैलकुलेट नेशनल इनकम बाय सम टोटल ऑफ वैल्यू एडेड बाय ईच प्रोड्यूसिंग यूनिट According to this method, we can calculate national income by sum total of value added by each producing unit. So, what is value added? For example, farm A, farm A by groundnut from farm B at rupees thirty. Farm A by groundnut from farm B at rupees thirty, and by using this groundnut, farm A prepare oil and sell this oil in market at rupees eighty. Difference between eighty and thirty is equal to fifty. We can say that fifty is value added by farm A. Similar, there are so many producing unit. According to this method, we can calculate national income by sum total of value added by each producing unit. Now we will understand value. Added method with the help of an example. Here in first column we have production stages. In second column we have value of output. Value of output means our sale price means at what price we sell our product in the market. In third column we have value of input or we can say the cost of intermediate goods. A uh, value of input or cost of intermediate goods both are same because intermediate goods basically are our input which we use for production. For example, raw material. In last column. we have value added now please listen carefully a land owner sell trees to timber producer at rupees 50 and here we assume value of input for trees is zero so how much value is added by land owner so uh, here we have one formula for calculating value added this formula is value added is equal to value of output minus cost of uh, cost of input or we can say that cost of intermediate goods so value of output For trees is fifty, and cost of input we assume zero. Fifty minus zero is equal to fifty. So fifty rupees value added by land owners by selling their trees. Now timber producer make timber from these trees and sell this timber to furniture producer at rupees hundred. So how much value is added by timber producer here? Value of output is a hundred means their sale price at which price he sell his timber in the market. and the cost of intermediate goods is 50 because at 50 rupees he buy trees from land owner and tree which is input for timber so 100 minus 50 is equal to 50 this 50 rupees is value added by timber producer now furniture producer make furniture from this timber and sell to furniture seller at rupees 200 so how much value is added by furniture producer price of output is 200 means their market price Is two hundred because at two hundred he sell he sell furniture in the market. Then hundred rupees is cost of their input or we can say that cost of their intermediate goods because at hundred rupees he buy timber from timber producer. So two hundred minus hundred is hundred. Hundred rupees value is added by furniture producer. So furniture seller uh, sell uh, sell this furniture to customer at rupees two fifty. Okay, and uh, how much value is added by furniture seller? Price of output for two fifty, two fifty sale price and two hundred. At two hundred rupees, he buy from furniture from furniture producer. So two fifty minus two hundred is equal to fifty. So fifty rupees is value added by furniture seller. And total of value added by each producing unit would be equal to two hundred fifty. This two hundred fifty is some total of value added by each producing unit, which we can say gross value added at market. Price. In short, we can say the GVA MP. This GVA MP will equal to GDP MP. GDP MP is gross domestic product at market price. Means gross value added at market price will equal to gross.
gross domestic product at market price i have a separate video on gdp please check it so here we have gdp at market price from this gdp at market price we will calculate national income when we do total of value added by each producing unit it would be equal to gross value added at market price in short we can say gva mp and gva mp is equal to gdp mp gross domestic product at market price here we include only few producing unit but in real life when we calculate national income we include all sector of economy like primary secondary and tertiary so now we have gdp mp from gdp mp we will calculate national income okay as we all know our national income is equal to nnp fc our national income is equal to nnp fc nnp fc is net national product at factor cost okay so from gdp mp we have to reach nnp fc for this firstly we will calculate gross domestic product at factor cost in short we can say that gdp fc okay when we minus depreciation and indirect tax from gdp mp we will got ndp fc please listen carefully when we minus depreciation and net indirect tax from gdp mp we will got net domestic product at factor cost in short we can say that ndp fc now we have ndp fc from ndp fc we have to calculate nnp fc means we have net domestic product at factor cost but we require net national product at factor cost okay and when we add net to factor income from abroad in net domestic product at factor cost we will got net national product at factor cost please listen carefully when we add a uh, net to factor income from abroad in ndp fc we will got net national product at factor Cost. and this net national product at factor cost is equal to our national income okay so by using this uh, value added method we can calculate national income now we will talk about income method of calculating national income so what is income method according to this method we can calculate national income by adding all factors income in form of wage rent interest and profit according to this method we can calculate national income by adding all factors income in form of wage is rent interest and profit as we all know there are four factor of production some receive income in form of wage some receive income in form of rent some receive income in form of interest and other receive income in form of profit and according to this method we can calculate national income by adding all factor income in form of wage rent interest and profit so according to this method we can calculate national income by adding all factors income that's why first of all we will see components of factors income. income components of factors income include compensation of employees rent and royalty interest to profit and mixed income one by one we discuss about each component so first component of factor income is compensation of employees compensation of employees include wage in cash wage in kind and employer contribution to social scheme a uh, wage in cash include monetary benefit that is provided by companies to their employees uh, for example wages bonus commission etc and wages in kind include non monetary benefit that is provided by companies to their employees uh, for example home car medical and education facility and employer contribution to social schemes means provident fund gratuity and pension plan that is provided by companies to their employees next component of factor income is rent and royalty rent is part of factor income that arises from our land or buildings rent is part of factor income that arises is from our land or building royalty is payment made to individual for use of their intellectual property royalty means payment made to individual for use of their intellectual property intellectual property means our invention or our ideas uh, for example book authors receive payment from publisher every time his or her book is sold next component of factor income is interest interest is amount of money a lender receive for lending money to production unit interest is the amount of money that a lender receive for lending money to production unit for example person a doing production of some goods and services and you give him some money as a loan in return you will receive some interest and most important thing here we only include interest on loan taken for production purpose next component of factor income is profit Pro 
प्रॉफिट कैन बी यूज फॉर थ्री पर्पजेज और वी कैन से प्रॉफिट है थ्री पार्ट कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स डिविडेंड एंड रिटेन अर्निंग कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इज टैक्स पेड बाय फॉर्म टू गवर्नमेंट ऑन द प्रोफिट दैट दे अर्न एंड डिविडेंट इज पार्ट ऑफ प्रोफिट दैट गिवन टू शेयर होल्डर एंड रिटेन अर्निंग इज पार्ट ऑफ प्रोफिट दैट कीप एज अ रिजर्व टू हैंडल अनसर्टन सिचुएशन इन फ्यूचर लास्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फैक्टर इनकम इज मिक्सड इनकम मिक्सड इनकम इज जनरेटेड बाय अन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड एंटरप्राइजेज एंड सेल्फ इंप्लॉयड इंडिविजुअल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इनकम जनरेटेड बाय स्मॉल शॉपकीपर रिटेलर्स बार्बर्स और डॉक्टर रनिंग इज ऑन क्लिनिक एंड वेन वी एड all these components of factor income as compensation of employees profit rent and royalty interest and mixed income it would be equal to ndp fc when we add all this component compensation of employees profit rent and royalty interest and mixed income it would be equal to ndp fc ndp fc is net domestic product at factor cost and when we add net to factor income from abroad in ndp fc it would be Equal to NNP FC. When we add net to factor income from abroad, in short, we can say the NFIA in NDP FC it would be equal to NNP FC. And NNP FC is net to national product at factor cost. This is equal to our national income. So by using the income method, we can calculate national income. We are going to talk about expenditure method for calculating national income. So what is expenditure method? Uh, this method measure national income as a sum of final expenditure incurred by household businesses government and foreigner on our country product this method measure national income as a sum of final expenditure incurred by household businesses government and foreigner on our country product as we all know a household businesses government foreigners do expenditure on goods and services that's produced within our country and expenditure of someone is income of someone if these people are doing expenditure that is their expenditure but this is income of someone na uh, for example if i buy marker this is my expenditure but this is income of shopkeeper na similar with the expenditure we are actually knowing national income of our country now we will see components of final expenditure or we can say that what we include in expenditure method component of final expenditure is private final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure and gross domestic capital formation gross domestic capital formation have two parts one is gross fixed capital formation other is inventory investment and last component of final expenditure is net export one by one we discuss about each component first component of final expenditure is private final consumption expenditure private final consumption expenditure include expenditure incurred by household and private non profit institution on all type of consumer goods like tv cooler ac mobile etc second component of final expenditure is government final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure include expenditure incurred by government on various services like defense law and order and education third component of final expenditure is gross domestic capital formation gross domestic capital formation include gross fixed capital formation and inventory investment gross fixed capital formation means expenditure on fixed asset uh, for example expenditure on machines equipments and new plants and inventory investment basically measure change in stock of raw material finished good and semi finished good inventory investment basically see change in stock of uh, raw material finish good and semi finish good so that we can exactly know how much stock we buy or add in this year last component of final expenditure is net export net export is difference between value of export and value of import means when we minus value of import from value of export we will get our net export here x is value of export and m is value of import when we add all components of final expenditure as private final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure gross domestic capital formation net export it would be equal to gdp 
GDP-MP. When we add all component of annual expenditure, it would be equal to GDP-MP. GDP-MP is gross domestic product at market price. And when we minus depreciation and net indirect taxes from GDP-MP, it would be equal to NDP-FC. Please listen carefully. When we minus uh, depreciation and net indirect taxes from GDP-MP, it would be equal to NDP-FC. And NDP-FC net domestic product at factor cost. NDPFC is net domestic product at factor cost. And when we add net to factor income from abroad or we can say that NFIA in NDPFC it would be equal to NNPFC. And NNPFC is net national product at factor cost. And net national product at factor cost is equal to our national income. So by this we can calculate national income by using expenditure method. This is all about various measurement of national income. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.